Chris Moody from Yahoo News had an interview with Newt Gingrich, and during that interview, he asked him, how should we tackle this war on drugs? It's obviously been a huge disaster. It's been a mess. What are your solutions? Well, Newt Gingrich thinks that the best solution is to make sure that it's extremely expensive for people to obtain drugs. So one way uh, it would become expensive is to drug test welfare recipients. And if they are uh, deemed or if they are found to be positive of taking any types of drugs or whatever, they will not be able to get any type of federal aid. Let me read you his exact quote. He, sa he says, I think that we need to consider taking more explicit steps to make it expensive to be a drug user. It could be through testing before you get any kind of federal aid, unemployment, compensation, food stamps, you name it. So that's his answer to the issue that we have with the war on drugs. <laughs> So, a uh, couple of things here. Number one, uh, unemployment, uh, if you're uh, getting that check, well then you're obviously a bum drug user uh, in Newt Gingrich's worldview. You're immediately making assumptions about people who need help right. federally. And so, uh, so I'm gonna have to test you, because I don't really trust you. It's not that we had a terrible economic crash and unemployment went from you know 4.5% to 9%, it doubled basically in a very short period of time. Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with the banks creating that situation or anything like that, people losing their jobs. It's that you're a bum who might be using drugs, and hence Newt Gingrich is going to do that. The second part of that is that, well, will you look at that? Uh, drug testing companies will make more money, okay? Um, who owns a drug testing company? One of the many people who will be affected by this, perhaps. Rick Scott, governor of Florida. I love that you brought up the Rick Scott example because in Florida, they already passed legislation that uh, tests welfare recipients, right? And what they found was that only 2% of the wel welfare recipients who were tested uh, actually tested positive for any kind of drug. Well, I don't get it. I thought the welfare recipients were the bums of the bums. I mean, they're receiving welfare. Like, as if, like, can you imagine, like, if we gave these bums, like, $700 billion from the Treasury or, like, $7 trillion from the Federal Reserve? Wait a minute. We did. But those were the bankers. Right. So I will believe this stuff the minute we are testing bankers. Because no one got more federal assistance than the bankers. Is Newt Gingrich uh, proposing that we test the bankers? Hell Those, no. Oh, of course not, of course not. So what do we, instead he's going to go and pick on the most powerless people, the ones that need the most amount of help, when in fact, even when they test them, only 2% of them have that issue. But he doesn't give a damn because that's his assumptions. Right, and he's always had disdain for people who need federal aid, always. Like, he's been on the record about that several times. Um, but, you know, look, I'm not in favor of drug testing welfare recipients. I'm not in favor of drug testing, period, to be honest with you. But if we were to drug test the bankers, I would be very curious to see what the results would be. Here's what I absolutely, positively guarantee you. It would be a much higher rate than 2%. A little cocaine. Oh, a little, co co a little cokey coke. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Two percent. Bankers on drugs, only two percent. Have you ever met a banker? Okay, I mean, I look, I know some dudes on Wall Street. Two percent would be a very low estimate.